In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 places to visit in Atlanta. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Number 10, Oakland Cemetery. Covering 48 acres and located less than two miles southeast of Atlanta's downtown, Oakland Cemetery honors the city's contributions to the Civil War and the Civil Rights struggle. There are 70,000 graves there, but among them are several well-known Atlantans, such as golfer Bobby Jones, writer Margaret Mitchell, and singer Kenny Rogers. The historic African-American grounds are located on site as well. In 1852, African-Americans had to be buried apart from white people according to local tradition and the law. The grounds, which are near to Potter's Field in the northeastern section of the cemetery, are home to the tombs of both free and enslaved African-Americans. The graves of Carrie Steele Logan, the first African-American child orphanage founder in Atlanta, and Red Frank Quarles, one of the founders of the Women's College that would eventually become Spelman College, are located in this neighborhood. Number 9. Piedmont Park which is close to the Atlanta Botanical Garden in Midtown, is the ideal location for a day of leisure or activity. With its expansive 200 acres, the park offers a plethora of activities such as dog parks, walking and jogging routes, picnic areas, public swimming pool, tennis courts, and a Saturday farmer's market that runs from late March to early December. Piedmont Park is large enough to accommodate a number of Atlanta's premier events, such as Music Midtown, Atlanta Pride, the Atlanta Dogwood Festival, the Atlanta Ice Cream Festival, and the Atlanta Jazz Festival. Prior visitors rated this park as one of Atlanta's greatest and strongly suggested visiting. Number 8. Atlanta's Fox Theater The Fox Theater is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the city, and more than just a place for performances. Fortunately, you may admire its elaborate interior without having performance tickets. The Karnak Temple Complex in Lixer, Egypt, and the Alhambra in Granada, Spain served as inspiration for the theater's original design, which was created by the Shriners Organization in Atlanta. During a tour, you'll learn about the building's famous architectural features and more. Visitors are taken on tours of over 10 different parts of the structure. You'll also get to witness Mighty Mo, one of the largest theater organs in the world. See what shows are scheduled during the time you will be in the city. Not only will you be treated to a spectacle, but the inside of the structure is a visual feast. You'll be greeted with vivid hues, a dramatic ceiling that has painted stars and clouds, and lots of architectural details. Number 7. Fern Bank Museum of Natural History Visit the Fern Bank Museum of Natural History to learn about the modern and prehistoric natural worlds. Exhibits showcasing Georgian wildlife, dinosaur fossils, traditional clothing, and more are available for visitors to explore. Additionally, visitors may have a light meal in the Fern Bank Cafe, or a movie at the museum's giant screen theater. In addition, the museum offers a variety of outdoor experiences that are reachable from the terrace. In addition to having two picturesque observation platforms, Wild Woods presents year-round special exhibits. Visitors may explore a 65-acre woodland at Fern Bank Woodland over more than two kilometers of concrete walkways. Hundreds of species make the walkways home, so keep a watch out for them while you stroll. Daily hours at the Fern Bank Museum of Natural History are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The price of tickets is $25.95 for adults, $24.95 for seniors, and $23.95 for children aged 3 to 12. Tickets must be purchased online in advance. Your ticket price includes one movie in the giant screen heater. However, if you would want to see another one, you will have to pay an extra $5 at the box office. Number 6. National Center for Civil and Human Rights Visit the National Center for Civil and Human Rights for a comprehensive examination of the global human rights movements as well as the American Civil Rights Movement. A collection of Martin Luther King Jr. artifacts is one of three permanent exhibitions available in this 40,000 square foot building, in addition to three temporary ones. While most previous visitors suggested allowing around two hours to fully enjoy the exhibits, you may easily spend many hours perusing the center's vibrant and educational displays. The lunch counter experience in the Rolls Down Like Water display at the park really pleased a lot of people. The downtown region of Atlanta is home to the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. It is sandwiched between the Georgia Aquarium and the world of Coca-Cola, both of which have pay parking facilities. Public transport is the most economical method to get to the property. Number 5. World of Coca-Cola a museum called World of Coca-Cola is devoted solely to the well-known beverage. Exhibits about the history of the beverage, its place in popular culture, 
and the bawling process greet visitors to the two-story structure. The museum has a 3D theater in addition to the standard Coca-Cola theater. The museum's focus on the company's history will certainly appeal to the elder members of your group, but the youngsters will definitely be most enthused about the Taste It area, where they can try a variety of Coke flavors. Generally speaking, adult admission to World of Coca-Cola costs $19, senior admission costs $17, and children's admission costs $15. Younger children enter free of charge. Tickets cost $1 more each if you wait to buy them at the gate. You may buy them online in advance. The museum is covered by your Atlanta City Pass if you have one. Number 4. Martin Luther King, Jr. National Historical Park. For those who enjoy Marvel films, the last sequence of Black Panther was shot near the intersection of Jackson Street and Auburn Avenue, which is only two blocks away. Green Book Global's founder and chief executive officer, Lawrence Phillips. Visit the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park to trace the steps of one of the most significant historical characters. The residence where civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr. was born and reared is located here. Another option is to visit Ebenezer Baptist Church, where King served as a pastor in the past. An understanding of Atlanta's fire department's desegregation may be gained from Fire Station. Additionally, the Dream Gallery and interesting displays on the civil rights struggle may be found at the Visitor Center. Situated in Atlanta's Sweet Auburn District, the historic property is around one mile east of the city center and half a mile northeast of the King Memorial train station on the blue and green lines of MARTA. Number 3. Centennial Olympic Park Centennial Olympic Park is a 22 acres plot of land in downtown Atlanta that lies directly across the street from the College Football Hall of Fame. It is home to beautiful grassy areas, artwork, ponds, and fountains. Originally constructed as the focal point of the 1996 Olympic Games, the park is currently one of the city's most popular tourist destinations. The Fountain of Rings, which has 251 water jets, is one of the park's most well-known features. A change of clothes should be brought if you know your kids will want to splash around in the water, as reported by recent visitors who observed how popular the fountains were with families, especially small ones. The park's closeness to popular attractions including the Georgia Aquarium, Skyview Atlanta Ferris Wheel, World of Coca-Cola, and the National Center for Civil and Human Rights was also liked by previous visitors. Number 2. Beltline in Atlanta The Atlanta Beltline is a planned city-wide network of more than 1,000 acres of newly created or cleaned up green space, including 22 miles of streetcar rails, 33 miles of trails for bicycling, walking, and other activities, and 5,600 affordable housing units. The Beltline is being opened by the city in stages, with hopes to complete the system by 2030. Beginning in the winter of 2023, the Beltline will have eight parks and several accessible but incomplete trails. Among the parks are the appropriately titled Historic Fourth Ward Park, Historic Fourth Ward Skate Park, Atlanta's first public skate park with challenges for skateboarders of all skill levels. The eponymously named Historic Fourth Ward Park, spanning 17 acres of green space and complete with a kid-friendly splash pad. Gordon White Park, offering free fitness classes, temporary art installations, and music events. Perkerson Park, with its tennis courts, softball fields, and disc golf course. And the 280 acres West Side Park, with its playground and event pavilion. Number 1. City of Ponce Market These days, the Ponce City Market is a huge mixed-use complex with offices, learning centers, cafes, restaurants, boutique shopping, and more. The building's roof doubles as an attraction in and of itself. Here are attractions like Skyline Park, where guests may play mini-golf and ski ball or take a three-story slide ride, and Nine Mile Station, a rooftop eatery. Pond City Market is largely enjoyed by visitors who express gratitude for the market's tasty and varied culinary offerings. Travelers also give the roof and its attractions great marks. Some expressed dissatisfaction with the complex's challenging navigation and voiced complaints about the costly parking and pricey cuisine. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.